I was also curious um, about your recovery story. Mm -hmm. um, at some point in your life, you, you just found that you um, were kind of reaching the bottom and um, decided that you need to come up. And tell us a little bit about that time and uh, what led you to recovery. Well, I was just, I was always kind of a pile driver. I had this, I just had this great desire for success and to validate myself with my success um, because I was really never validated growing up in a lot of different ways. Um, so I used kind of success and um, songwriting and my artist career as kind of this measure. And um, at some point we all figure out we're, we're not in control of the results. You know, we try and try and try and, and still we can't, you know, cram the world into the little box we want. We think um, it needs to be in. And, um, and that was kind of the beginning of my bottom, you know? Um, and um, the harder I seem to try to, to uh, control the outcome, the, the more elusive it seemed. And, um, and the fuel for that was drinking, you know? Um, so that was my drug of choice and i drank and drank and drank and and um and then all of a sudden it it slowly just stopped working so i was left with this giant cauldron of shit that i'd accumulated in myself and um and that's kind of when my um recovery started i mean i i didn't choose it it kind of chose me and so yeah um and i was lucky that it stopped working and I just got dropped off at this at this place, um, which at the time seemed terrible, but it really it was the best place I could have. In hindsight, it was the best thing that could have ever happened to me, really. The first years that you were in recovery, um, were you doing like 12-step? Yeah. Programs? Okay. I pretty much went into, um, you know, that traditional 12-step world and, um, and I've been there, you know, in some form or fashion ever since. Um, but, um, and it kept me sober. Um, but then at some point I discovered yoga and that really took my recovery and my, um, and the recognition of my, um, my conditioning to a whole new level. How were you introduced to yoga? It, you know, when the, when the student's ready, the teacher shows up, and that, and that was the case for me. You know, I was sitting at a stop sign on my way to a meeting one time in Nashville, Tennessee, and I just had this epiphany, you know, that I needed to go deeper in my spiritual life, or I wasn't going to make it, you know. Um, I, I remember sitting there, I turned off the car, and I had this feeling of, like, I really got to do something. And then I went, went in at that very same meeting. My friend came up to me, and he's like, man, I met this dude and um, he's a yogi and you got to come here and talk. You know, he's just incredible. And I was like, well, whatever. <laughs> I was very, I was very suspicious. you know. <laughs> and, um, but he talked me into going to the talk and um, this guy walked in the room and he started talking and it was like, I was hearing what I'd been waiting to hear my entire life. You know? yeah. And um, I signed up for the, his program that very night, and uh, which started the following week. And, and uh, I had this really profound experience, and that was the kind of my introduction to yoga. And how long, how long ago was that? That was probably 2001, okay. um, so 15 years ago. 16 now, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I was never good at math. <laughs> so what's the biggest difference that you've seen in your own recovery path that uh, you could directly point at yoga as being the cause of it? Um, probably my, my, uh, the ability through the practice uh, to access a dimension of myself that really is beyond my mind and my body. I access a spiritual dimension of myself um, where, you know, that's outside of where the, the disease or the addiction um, sets up shop and controls the situation. 
Okay. Um, and um, it's beyond like, you know, um, conditioning or, or character defect identification. Um, and I don't think I really would have been able to access that dimension of myself without the practice of yoga. Hmm. And, you know, in the 12-step programs, they talk about sharing your experience, strength, and hope. Mm-hmm. And in 2016, you came up with a couple of very tangible ways of doing that. Um, yeah. Let's talk a little bit first about um, recovery yoga re- or recover.yoga is the website. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about your vision for that and how it came about and where it's going. Well, basically, it's it's just taken from my own experience and what worked for me, you know, I'd go, I'd, I'd go into the yoga or the, or the rooms or the Buddhist Sangha. And, um, and I didn't, and they were, they just kind of left me off, off at the door. You know, they'd give me all these practices that opened up these dimensions, those dimensions of myself where all this, all my crap would come up and then they'd kind of just leave you at the door. Um, the traditional re- recovery programs. So I go back to um, my recovery programs, um, and they actually had tools to deal with those with those um, those things as they came up. Um, and then I tried to then I tried to do my traditional recovery program without the yoga, and that didn't work either. You know, so. Um, in that in that process there's a lot of character you know defect or conditioning identification and i see a lot of people just spinning around in in that oh and they never they never access the dimension of, of themselves that enables them to step outside of, the, of that or experience themselves outside of that conditioning so the two for me just worked amazing together you know you have these practices and um so, and then, and then you actually have some through my traditional recovery program, I had something to do with them. So I've just developed this program that, that kind of incorporates the two um, in relationship to my own experience and how that worked for me. Okay. And out of that program, what services are you offering? Um, I'm doing, you know, private recovery coaching. I'm doing um, private yoga um, instruction i'm setting people up with practices of their own um based on where they are in their recovery process um and i'm doing um, i'm developing workshops and i'm developing an online course as well for people that i really can't spend time with because people started coming into my life and and they were living in seattle or washington or or the netherlands or and i was like wow i can't spend any time with these people so how am i what can I do to really um, introduce, you know, this experience to them? And so I'm de- developing, putting it all in an online course as well. That's great. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. <laughs> and over the last couple of months, you've just like sewn this whole thing together. Well, and- yeah, it's been very serendipitous. And, it, and I know I'm doing the right thing because it's kind of a part of my own path too. You know, these things fall into your life and, and into your awareness and they just come together in a certain way that you could have never really planned for yourself. And um, so it's it's very much a part of my living practice as well. 